Hey guys, uh, Antex Score 25 here with uh, another review. This time on Drift Ray, a free roam racing game, which looks really cartoony and yeah, just drive around, customize your car. Pretty cool game. All right, so graphics. The graphics in this game are cartoony, like I just said and are not detailed at all. In fact, I say this game has some pretty sh** <laughs> graphics. I mean, look look at everything. Do you see those buildings and like the road? Completely not detailed. I mean, the road has a little specks of dust, but... Ugh. And look at those NPCs. Just one bland color. Do you see that? And look at those trees. Do you see them? I mean, you could just see that it's like pieces of lines put together. Like, you can see that's not 3D at all. And, but yeah, the graphics on your car are really nice looking. And also, you get a little cool smoke effect coming from your tires. I mean, look at the buildings. Just one boring color. Gray. Ugh. With a little bit of windows. So the gameplay. Yay. The gameplay of this game. Um, well, basically you do missions, you level up, and all that stuff, you know. Regular MMOs. Uh, by the way, sorry if this, uh, bit choppy. Because I'm just testing out some stuff. But, I, um, yeah, about every ten levels or so, um, you, you become qualified to buy another set of cars, which... Well, obviously, upgrade your performance, and <clears throat> also you can equip uh, items onto your car, which will also increase the performance of your current car. And I, um, yeah, just you know, equip items. It's very cool. Not many other racing games allow you to do that. But yeah, this game's pretty unique though, because other racing games is just like player versus player, and that's boring, because. I'd like to do something else besides verse people. Oh yeah, by the way, after every uh, 20 combos or so, uh, you get a random item, which is like a low-grade item. You get combos by either driving on the wrong side of the road like an idiot, uh, passing right next to cars, or drifting, jumping, and they, um, they help you acquire your boost faster. And your boost does what it means. It allows you to boost. but. Yeah, there's me just leveling up, as you can see, pretty flashy. Um, yeah, just... Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to show this, but, uh, you can also run out, run out of gas, which is what that yellow bar is next to the speedometer, or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, you can also... I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Alright, um, here's another way of leveling up besides missions, which is a, uh, HUV race, which stands for, like, I don't know, unman, you know, I just don't even know, whatever. But, um, yeah, what you do, you get that little cool police siren, John, and just start, like, try and catch him down, and for some reason I s they spawn, like, against me, so I had to do a little quick turnaround, but, uh, basically what you do, you just slam into them, make them lose health and then they um yeah after they lose enough health they obviously die and burn out and if you complete the HUV race then you get XP and Mido which is the currency of this game man look at that car fly douchebag move but I um yeah the higher you progress in this game the much harder they become like see after that crash he just sped away like a motherfucker but yeah, oh critical, yay! Oh, also after you crash into them, you get an item, which is basically the same as getting twenty combo. <coughs> uh, yeah, you can also do this in a uh, party of four people, which is basically a crew, like miniature, and just chase them down. But it gets much harder and much more HUVs spawn up. You can get anywhere from about one to four HUVs. If you're on your own, <coughs> but yeah, 
It's pretty hectic, though, because you just crash into them, they start smoking and catch on fire and everything. Yeah, there's a uh, four s uh, items in this game that increase your car's performance durability, which is how much damage you do to these guys. Uh, speed does what it means increase your max speed. Acceleration does what it means also helps you accelerate faster. <coughs> and boosting, which is it makes you have a higher like boost speed. So when you use your boost and you have like a high level of boosting then you'd go like extremely quick and have a long boost but right now um, here's a, another way of leveling up which in my opinion is not the best way look at that drift um, you do delivery mission which is basically little checkpoints across a fixed path the arrow basically tells you what the quickest route is route is and if you get a less if you get a uh, a time that's like pretty low, then you get better items. If you get a time that's completely crap, well, you get completely crap items and cash. Ow, <sighs> douchebag car. But yeah, um, there's four towns I think. Each of those towns require you be higher level to enter them. Um. Yeah, you start on Moon Place, which is where I was at with that black car. Yeah, oh, by the way, the NPCs, the cars, you crash into them. Like, if you crash into them, you lose, uh, you have a higher chance of losing your combo, and you lose a lot of your boosting. Booster, my bad. And, yeah. You could get gold, silver, or bronze on these delivery missions. For some reason, I always get bronze because I suck balls at this game. But anyways, yeah. Um, hmm. All right. Yeah, you can teleport back to your little station area. Um, there's also, if you get bored of all that free roam crap, then you can do a, uh, player versus player. And, uh, um, right now I'm just doing single player versus player, because I didn't feel like doing real player versus player. Uh, this is the tutorial showing basically, um, like how to do it. Uh, you could get power-ups in it, like, by passing through gates, which I will pass through soon. Oh, and also, if you crash too much, well, then... Your car will get all smashed up and will be in need of repairs, which I'm trying to do right now. Oh, look at that bar. Yeah, your speed drops down to like 25 miles per hour. And yeah, here's the gate. You can either get like 50% boost, 100% boost, like how much boosting is filled, or like any other items, which you'll see. You can get your repair completely complete. Oh, uh, also, the re another reason I didn't do the, um, a real player versus player match is because almost nobody does this. And if any, somebody does, then they just pick, like, a crappy car to buy and then just race in the lobby because there's no level restrictions, only vehicle class restrictions, which is pretty annoying. But, uh, um, you get a lot of experience from doing this, but it's pretty boring because it's not that intense. But uh, there's two different things you could do in a uh, PvP. Either individual race, which everybody in for every men for themselves, or team race, which is well, two teams versing each other. And um, yeah, but overall, I give this game a six out of ten. Reasons why is because. It's pretty fun and a unique racing game. Never seen any game like this. The controls are smooth and easy, just was uh shift and control, which are boosting and drift. Drifting is really fun and exciting in this game.
The quests are constant and different because there's like four ways of leveling up. But the graphics are bad, but hey, I don't care. Uh, it's boring after about level 50 because there's no more new missions to do. But you can still do the HUV race and stuff. But there's almost no activity in the PvP lobbies, which sucks balls because, you know, some of us want to PvP, but we can't, sadly. So, yeah. That was my review. This has been another review by AntexCore25. Hope you enjoy it. Rate, comment, subscribe for more. Bye.